Ernest Hemingway liked a good cocktail. Dorothy Parker took her scotch without water. Hunter S. Thompson would <laughs> take or drink whatever was in front of him. Writers imbibe. Why shouldn't their readers, right? Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez tonight on a bar that serves up books and booze in equal measure. Tennyson Street is filled with local restaurants, bars, and even bookstores. You can obviously buy a book in a lot of different places. But what you can't do is buy a book and sip a glass of wine at the same time. That's where Book Bar thrives. The idea behind the combination of a bookstore and wine bar is the thought that food and drink helps to build community. Even for first-time customers like Megan Riley, it's become a great place to unwind. I'd say if you're a writer, if you're into poetry, do a little devotional journal, have a little book club, keep it low-key, you know, these days. This is a place to do it. But it hasn't necessarily been an easy read for Book Bar. To compete at a more sustainable level, they're also offering online book sales and even book deliveries on a bicycle. I think in this business, you have to be nimble and you have to be constantly changing and going in a, a direction that the community needs and asks for. It's that whole package, Nicole Sullivan says, has made them a go-to business in the Berkeley neighborhood. We're absolutely the epitome of a community bookstore. You know, we see a lot of regulars that come in. And now that the pandemic has eased, Book Bar is opening up more inside seating. This bar used to be lined with bar stools and it's now lined with books. As well as starting a new cocktail list with a literary twist. We'll do some plays on words with book titles and authors. A place to relax, read and enjoy a glass of wine a popular and successful rebound for this small business. I like the books, I like the vibes. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.